two Connecticut men charged as part of a human trafficking ring where police say young men with mental health issues were sold for sex. One of the men arrested a well-known businessman, the other a convicted sex offender. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Ann Craig. And I'm Scott McDonald. Darren is off tonight. Our News 8 cameras exclusively getting this video. That's one of the suspects, 63-year-old Bruce Beamer of Glastonbury, leaving court in Danbury saying he has no comment. Beamer, a well-known businessman in the state, he owns the Waterford Speedway and a petroleum company in Glastonbury. We tried to talk to both of those businesses today. No one wanted to comment, but News 8's Noelle Gardner, she's been following this story all day. She joins us live from Danbury tonight with the very latest. Noelle. Scott and Ann, that sex trafficking and prostitution ring, according to the arrest warrant, could have been going on for 25 years. Today, I confronted one of those men arrested, Bruce Bemmer, outside the courthouse. This is exclusive video of Bruce Bemmer leaving the courthouse. I asked him if he would talk to us on camera. You want to tell us your side of the story? Me, Bemmer just Excuse smiled me. at the camera. The FBI assisting Danbury police in this case. The FBI began investigating in January after a complaint from the state of Connecticut Support Services Department. According to police, Robert King and William Tresker were operating a prostitution ring, recruiting young males and delivering them to Bruce Bemmer and others for prostitution. According to the arrest warrant, Robert King, going back approximately 20 years, has sought out young men with varying degrees of psychological disabilities for the purpose of using these individuals for prostitution. The arrest warrant goes on to say King would fraudulently befriend the young males, offering them work, food, money, and other fake inducements, providing them with illegal drugs to the point that they were financially indebted to him. The arrest warrant goes on to say he then arranged for them to trade sex for money to pay off the debt they owed him. King would allegedly drive the victims from Danbury to the client or hotels. Bemmer stated that he paid $200 to $250 per occasion. The arrest warrant states the boys who were brought to Bemmer for sex seem to have mental issues. Yeah, and Bemmer and King are due back in court April 26, and I'm learning tonight King is being held at a correctional facility in Newtown, and William Tresker's bond is set at $250,000. He's due in court April 10th. I'm live tonight in Danbury. Noel Gardner, News 8.